So this morning, I was uh, fundamentally grieved witnessing in Kenyatta National Hospital Mook lying body of a very beautiful young girl. Now, the twist of fate is that one of the policemen who was heavily deployed to recruit thugs to act as undercover policemen, thugs that were armed and given rounds of ammunition, planted in the midst of protesting young peaceful people. He did know as he was recruiting those elements of thugs that his own daughter would be in the streets. Now, Joy is lying in KNH, dead. Her father was part of the deal that was recruiting agents who are the real criminals to infiltrate young people. She's dead and the man is horrendously defeated. His own gun has caught up with him. His own malicious bullet has ended the life of a lady who was a law school student that he was supposed to call mom. This is my memo to all Kenyan policemen, wherever they may be. When you pull that trigger, whom are you shooting? When you aim your gun at Generation Zoomers, the young people who are under 27, who are asking fundamental questions about the, uh, about the leadership of their country. When you pull the trigger, whom are you shooting? You are shooting them. But who are them? Majority of these Gen Z have been sneaking out of their homes without their parents' consent. And they are going to define their generational mission. When you are in your uniform and washing your bullets, do you know your daughter and your son perhaps was there? Indeed, some of the MPs' daughters and sons were in that streets. Some of these people whom we are schooling with, Kenya School of Law, are in the streets. Majority of them are sons and daughters of cabinet ministers, principal secretaries, CEOs, and indeed members of parliament. Policemen who drew trigger to shoot an unarmed, brave young man is shooting the life of tomorrow. The heroes and heroines who have been the fundamental foundation of our civilization and culture. This is my message to you, Mr. Policeman. Exercise restraint. Apply the law. Use your mind. Indeed, these people are not fighting you. They are fighting for you. Why kill them? They are asking for your better pay. They are asking for your better housing. They are asking for your better armory with the most advanced guns to guard our country. Now that the military has gone in the streets, I am addressing you, KDF, to ask you in humility, not to bring your well-trained and well-provided for armory and your training to the people. These young people are fighting for you. They are fighting for you. They are not fighting you. Restrain and observe human rights. Let them speak. Let them have, let them have their say. As we look for ways of addressing these matters eventually, I ask that you don't kill anyone. Life is not worth the death that guns and boots are being used for in this nation. There is no way you will escape the killing of an unarmed civilian youth. You shall never know peace until you lie in the grave. Mr. Policeman, stand up, lift your gun, shoot the air if you have to, but don't shoot.